thank you very much for being patient and participating in this wonderful American experiment. I love this country, and I know Jerry loves it as well, and all of you do, because you spent your night caring about it enough to come here today, and I appreciate it. You actually learned a lot tonight. You actually learned a lot about two very, very different visions of America. And just to summarize, in case you haven't heard enough already, is we don't agree, we don't agree, Jerry and I don't agree, that it's okay to not fund the troops when they're in harm's way. We don't agree. He was very clear, very candid, very thoughtful about his position. I don't agree with him. I think when young people are in battle, when they're in harm's way, you have to give them 110%. We also don't agree on taxes. I mean, could you have a clearer definition? I've never voted for a tax increase as an elected official, and I will not vote to raise your taxes as a congressman. This congressman has repeatedly looked for ways to raise your taxes, and it sounds like we need to send him the bill information, but he would raise your taxes across the board in a down economy, $400 billion a year. It is bad judgment. We disagree on drilling for new oil in America. It is necessary to have energy independence, to stop sending money abroad when it can be used in the American economy, to stop sending it to countries that don't like our country and probably don't like what we're doing here tonight, and to stop sending it away so that they can charge us prices that lead to $4 a gallon of gas for young people. It's unconscionable. And finally, we agree, I'm surprised, but we agree on earmarks. We agree with the definition of what he did. I don't believe it's right to take campaign contributions from contributors and submit earmarks and take money out of the federal treasury and give it to private companies. And I don't believe that we need individual congressmen on their own determining what the national security needs of the United States of America are after they receive a campaign contribution. And finally, I want to tell you one quick story, and I know I'll get the hook here in a moment, about a woman I met walking this summer. I've actually walked a lot, and it's the benefit of being a challenger. Congressmen can't do it as much because they're busy in Washington. But I've lost 14 pounds doing it. And so I don't have any benefits. And walking in the heat has some benefits. And I want to tell you a story, and I think Jerry's probably got stories like this, but it tells you why it's so important to be elected as a congressperson. I walked in Precinct in Pleasanton, Jerry's hometown, and I walked, it was late in the day, the sun was beating down, and I walked up to a door, and my precinct list said it was a 60-year-old woman that lived there. I walked up to her door, and she was washing dishes, and she found out I was running for Congress. She said, just a minute. She turned the water off, came back, and we had a half-hour conversation on her doorstep. She said, you know, I really never cared much about politics before. I really didn't care much about it. I didn't participate much. I voted sometimes, but I really didn't follow it. But she says, it's all I can think about. And her son is on a second tour of duty in Iraq. And she says, I think about it day in and day out. It's all on my mind. And she said to me that she has equal emotions. Half of her is incredibly proud of her son for doing this honorable thing of serving this country. And she said, I can't believe the little boy I raised turned out to do something that important. She said, the other half of me is a mother. And like all mothers, she worries about his safety every single minute of every single day and probably will until he comes home. Anyway, at the end of his first tour of duty, he was coming back from Iraq, and her and the girlfriend argued over who got to hug him first. And the girlfriend went out, and they went to San Francisco Airport, an area not known for its conservatism. And she went there, and the girlfriend hugged the soldier, and she did, very tearful, and he was in his uniform. And they turned around, and they walked through the terminal. And every single person in that terminal stood to their feet and applauded. Okay? That's what America means to me. Okay? We are 
It matters who represents you in Congress. It matters what kind of judgments they make. It matters what their positions are on issues. And so thank you very much for coming tonight and listening. Take your vote seriously, because every single vote does count. And thank you, Tracy Press, our good moderators, for asking tough questions tonight and working us over. And God bless this wonderful, freedom-loving country that we all live in. Thank you very much.